Hi there, this is Rob with Unnerded Videos again. Uh, in our last video we discussed Hello World and we did a calculator. Uh, in this video, what we're going to be doing is less programming something and more I'm going to be explaining a number of principles that are fundamental in event driven and object orientated and also procedural programming. So firstly we're going to go down to VB again. Wait for this to load up. Okay, just gonna start a new project and go to console application. Uh, the reason I'm using console application is I find it a lot easier to demonstrate the actual fundamental principles rather than the advanced uh, GUI graphical user interface. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna demonstrate the if or the selection principle, uh, and this is basically a means of splitting. Uh, the path a user can take off in multiple directions depending on their answer to a certain question and in this case the question is going to be do you like cats? so obviously everybody loves cats so what I'm going to do however is just define answer as a string because it's going to be either yes or no uh, and then we're going to go down just pair this up with a write line sorry read line And what we're going to do is just make answer equal to whatever the user puts. Now, hopefully it will either be a yes or no question, but you never know. And then what we're going to simply going to do is if answer, which is the question that they're going to make, the answer to the question I've asked, uh, equals yes, then do this. So in this case, the action it will be performing is console write. Yay! Uh, so basically, what's that going to do? If the user replies yes to my question, do you like cats? The console will then spit out the word yay because it's obviously jubilant that the uh, user likes cats. And then in a shortcut, I'm simply going to make this an else. Uh, and then the console is going to write out a you know, surprised message, you know, because it doesn't like cats. So obviously that's quite surprising. It's on the internet and doesn't like cats. Uh, so let's just demonstrate this. This is the selection principle. So I'm going to write yes. So then you say it spits out the word yay. Uh, so then we'll try it again with the other one. So let's just try. Do I like cats? No, I don't like cats. And it says oh, surprised. But anyway, uh, this is basically the selection principle. It defines whether the user likes cats or not. If it likes cats, it does this. And if the user doesn't like cats, it performs this. This can be used to great effect in obviously more complex programs for sorting out what a user actually wishes to do. Uh, the next principle we'll be discussing is the loop principle. If you bear me just a second, I will get that started. Uh, so the next principle, this one, is the iteration principle. Uh, as in, the code will iterate over and over again until a set condition is met. In this case, it is while index, which is there, it's set as equal to zero, and it will uh, increase every time the program loops, uh, until it gets to 10 in which case the program will stop and what it's basically doing here is it's then printing out the the value of index so the basic upshot of that is that it will not work slightly over there I was using debug rather than console but long story short I've got it working now and it simply displays the numbers 1 to 10 in a row uh, and that's not done in any hard-coded method, it's simply displaying index and index is incremented by one each time. So that's the iteration principle. This can also be used because it can perform repetitive functions easily without having to deal with lots of repetitive code, which is obviously very useful. Uh, so lastly, the last principle is known as sequence. Now what sequence does is simply does the, li does the code one line at a time. Now, almost every so that's sequence. Uh, this is really 
not used so much anymore, but an argument could be made that every programming language still uses it, but it more had its heyday in the time of c command line interfaces when they were more common. Alright, this is the end of this video. Uh, I'll probably make another programming video in a few days that does actually involve some programming for you guys at home. So, until then, I'll see you later.